Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today we are making this beautiful dress step by step tutorial easy to make. Make sure to grab your basic pattern paper and let's adjust this dress making. I will take you step by step how you can achieve this dress and I will also show you how to cut the skirt. Thumbs up if you haven't, comment down below and subscribe. Subscription is free, like is free, comment is also free share our video to your friends and loved ones and let's get right to this tutorial first thing that you have to do you grab your pattern paper i have my front and back pattern paper right here and i have my fabric right here i'm using this tie-dye fabric you can use any fabric of your choice and my tie-dye fabric is a cotton fabric so i have my scissors my ruler my pen right here my arm hook curve and my l ruler this is what you need when you are going to adjust your pattern paper first thing that you have to do you grab your front pattern paper so what i'm going to do from the neckline i'll place my measuring tape at the shoulder i'm going to reduce from the shoulder so this is one centimeter i'm taking one centimeter from the arm hole i will repeat the same process place my measuring tape at the shoulder and i will mark that one centimeter before i connect the mark together and from the neckline this will be the center front i am also going to reduce from the center front so you place your measuring tape at the neckline and i will measure down one centimeter once you have done that all you are going to do you take your arm hook of you are going to connect all the mark together before you connect the neckline together what you are going to do you place your ruler like this just give it a straight line because you don't want this to be curled when you curl when you're cutting your fabric it looks funny so give it a straight line and then you pick your arm hook curve you connect that together i have connected the neckline and the arm hook together what i'm going to do i will take my scissors and cut it out I have cut out the neckline and the arm hole. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to take the measurement from the center front. So what I'm going to do, I will place my measuring tape like this from the center front. Tape, I'm going to measure four centimeters. If you're using inches, you can measure one and a half inch. So this is my four centimeter right here, this one right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my air ruler so that I have a straight line. So I will place my air ruler like this and connect the mark together. I have connected it together. What I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and I will cut it out. I have cut it out so this is my center front and this is the bottom so we are going to pull this aside and adjust the back pattern paper what you are going to do for the center back you are going to take a measurement from the neckline one centimeter from the armhole one centimeter so once you have done that you are going to connect the mark together I will take my armhole curve I will connect the mark together and I will also repeat the same process for the neckline. I have cut it out this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we are going to take a measurement so the easiest way to do that you place your front pattern paper at the shoulder you just place it like this you are going to connect the mark together you can use a pin to secure the pattern together once you use your pin to secure them together you take your ruler you connect it down and then you take your scissors and cut it out i have cut it out this is how it is this is the center back and this is the left over and this is the center front and this is the left over of the center front so what you're going to do you are going to grab your fabric i have pinned my front pattern paper on my fabric and i've had my seam allowance from the bottom i add 1.3 centimeter or half inch 
and from the armhole show that neckline I add one centimeter seam allowance. So what I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and cut it out. I have pinned my bag pattern paper on my fabric and for the center bag I add three centimeter neckline one centimeter, shoulder one centimeter, armhole one centimeter from the bottom right here i add 1.3 centimeter or half an inch depends on the seam allowance that you prefer you go ahead and add it all around and then cut it out i have pinned the bottom part of my front pattern paper on my fabric before i pin it on my fabric i fold my fabric into two this side is folded why these are the raw edges so and from the top right here i 1.3 centimeter or half an inch i'm her size seam one centimeter so i will take the measurement right here you will place your measuring tape you are going to take 10 and half centimeter if you're using inches you can measure 4.25 inch before you cut out your fabric you take this part of your front pattern place your measuring tape like this you take the total length mine is 12 and a half centimeter so my length dress is going to be 65 centimeter what you are going to do you are going to minus that 12 and a half centimeter so this is my 12 and a half centimeter i will place it on my pattern like this and i will just go ahead and start measuring my dress length so this is my dress length right here 65 centimeter once you get that you take your ruler and then you connect the mark together once you connect them together the next thing that you have to do you take your measuring tape place it like this you measure down 1.5 centimeter once you've done that you take your arm hook up you are going to connect them together from here you go ahead and connect them together because you don't want it to be sharp you want it to be a little bit curved you just place your arm hook up like this you connect that together once you connect that together you take your scissors you start cutting them out This is my back pattern. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pin it on my fabric. From here to here is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. I'm going to cut this out. So I will place my back pattern like this and then I will pin it together. Once you have done pinning it together, I will take my measuring tape. I am going to check for the back. For the back, I have 11 0.5 centimeter so we need one centimeter to stitch the black hair because you can see that when i fold my fabric my fabric is on fold i didn't cut two pieces so it's on fold i need one centimeter to make a black hair at the back once you have done that what you are going to do you are going to take the length of your dress so the same length we take for the front the same length you're going to take for the back so you minus that 12.5 centimeter like this and then you take the total length of your dress making mine is 65 centimeter is right here so what i'm going to do i will take my air ruler and then i will connect the mark together and cut it out i have cut out my fabric make sure to cut your bias binding i have cut my bias binding the width of my bias binding is three centimeter and I've cut out the front and the back. And I have this other fabric right here, the same fabric I'm going to use to cut out the ruffle sleeve. I will show you that later on once we start putting the dress together. So first thing that you have to do, you are going to put the shoulder seam of your top dress together. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Put the shoulder together like this what you are going to do take it to your sewing machine and stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done stitching take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges
I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress. I take it to my overlocker, I overlock the raw edges. For the center bag, I fold inside one centimeter and two centimeter. Make sure to take it to an ironing board and give it a good press. The next thing that we have to do, for the armhole, we are attaching the raffle sleeve. So we are going to take the total length of the armhole. Before you do that, make sure to minus your seam allowance. From the bottom right here, we add 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter is right here. And then I will come down to the back. I will do the same thing. 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter is right here. Once you take that measurement, then you are going to take the rest of the total length of your arm hole. So you place your measuring tape. You just go ahead and measure it all around the armhole mine is 23 centimeter if you're using inches you measure nine inch so what i'm going to do i'm going to pull my top dress aside my fabric i folded it into two like this okay so once you fold it into two you are going to take the measurement so this will be the length so 23 centimeter is right here so once you measure that 23 centimeter that is times two of the fabric the next thing that you have to do you are going to measure the weight so you place your measuring tape like this i am going to take a measurement of 11 centimeter is right here if you're using inches you can measure 4.25 inch 11 centimeter is right here and then i will come down here and i will measure 11 centimeter then i will take my ruler and connect the mark together i have connected the mark together i will take my scissors and cut it out i have cut it out this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you are going to curve it out so you place your armhole curve like this i will remove this pin you place your armhole curve like this you go ahead and curve it out so i'm going to be using my blue pen i know a lot of you can see it but i can see it very good so i'll just use the pen and curve it out like this once you curve it out what you are going to do you take your scissors and cut it out I have cut it out this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you are going to use this one that you already cut out as your pattern so you place it on a different fabric make sure you place it on your fabric and the fabric is always going to be on fold on this side pin it together once you have done pinning go ahead and cut it out I have cut out my raffle sleeve this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you take it to your sewing machine this is the back of my sleeve i will fold inside one centimeter and then i will fold it again one centimeter and top stitch it all the way around and i also repeat the same process with the second sleeve once i am done with that i will set my sewing machine to the longest stitch i will stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my sleeve the next thing that you have to do you are going to use bias binding to bind the neckline of your top dress i believe a lot of you know how to use bias binding to bind the neckline of your top dress which i have shown on my youtube so many times i'm not going to repeat that again if you want to know how to do that please go through my playlist or go through my video you will get the full details on how to use bias binding to bind the neckline I have used my bias body to bind the neckline and I have stitched the center back. I have also stitched my sleeve and I hem it very nicely. I have stitched a gather stitch thread on my raffle sleeve and I fold it into two like this and you take your scissors, you give it a notch which I have already done that. You can also see that I have started to pin my raffle sleeve at the 
armhole what you are going to do when you are going to pin it on your armhole you pick your measuring tape when we cut our fabric we add 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter so what you are going to do you place your measuring tape like this make sure to mark that in and you also come down to this other side you're going to repeat the same process 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter once you have done that you pick your sleeve the notch place it at the shoulder same secure that with a pin and then you push your thread aside you can see the raw edges of my sleeve you make sure that it's pointing at and secure that with a pin and then you come down to this other side you're going to repeat the same process once you have done that what you're going to do this is what you're going to gather you just pick your thread you start to gather your raffle sleeve around the armhole once you have done gathering take your pin pin it in place i have pinned my raffle sleeve at the armhole this is how it is what i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch when i'm stitching it's not up to one centimeter because we are going to use bias binding to bind the armhole later so i will put this aside the next thing that you have to do you take your front skirt and this is the armhole side this is it so what we are going to do we are going to take it to our sewing machine and stitch together stitch thread at the top edge and then you take the back pieces so the way you are going to stitch the back pieces is going to be different this is the center of my back fabric i give it a notch so you place your measuring tape or your ruler you are going to take a measurement of 10 centimeter or 4 inch this is it once you've done that you go ahead and connect that together once you connect that together take your scissors and cut it to that four inch or 10 centimeter i have cut it out this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you are going to cut a blanket so i will tell you the measurement that i cut out my measurement is six centimeter if you're using inches you can measure two and a half inch so what you are going to do you pick your blanket make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you are going to pin it around like this once you have done pinning you take it to your sewing machine and stitch it with your one centimeter seam allowance you see the way i pin this together once you pin you stitch it all around and this side of the blanket you fold inside one centimeter you use it to cover the raw edges at this side of the dress making you are going to stitch a gather stitch thread so that we can gather the fabric so go ahead and stitch that together I have stitched my raffle sleeve at the top dress and i've also stitched a gather stitch thread at the skirt of my top dress this is the front what i'm going to do i'm going to pin them together before you pin them together you put them together like this and then you take your scissors and notch the mid part which i have done that and you also repeat the same thing with your skirt what you are going to do you make sure that both notch are match and you secure that together and then you come down to this side this is the armhole you place it like this you take your pin and secure that and then you come down to this other side you repeat the same thing place it like this and you take your pin you secure that what you are going to do you are going to gather this side at this side of the top dress you gather this side at this side of the top dress i have pinned the front skirt at the front of the top dress this is how it is right now before we take it to your sewing machine and top stitch we are going to gather the back of the skirt at the back top dress before you pin it at the back of the top dress what you are going to do when you stitch your blanket is going to open the way this is open all you have to do you're going to fold one side inside and 
top stitch which i've already done that so what i'm going to do i will place it like this make sure when you place it both front fabric are facing each other i will place this side make sure that they are matched and secure that with a pin when you place it together this side is not fold inside this side is open the way it is this side that is fold inside you leave it the way it is folded inside and then you pick your top dress put them together and secure that with a pin this is our armhole place it like this and then you pin that together you come to this other side this is the armhole push your gather stitch aside and then you pin them together like this so when you're pinning them together you can see the excess of the armhole is coming out like this so all you have to do you are going to gather this side at this side of the at the back you gather this side at this side of the back i have pinned the back together the next thing that i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine and give it a top stitch all the way down and i will come down to this other side and give it a top stitch all the way down once i am done with that i will remove the gather stitch thread take it to my overlocker i will overlock the both raw edges I have stitched the skirt on the dress this is how it is and i take it to my overlocker i overlock the both raw edges this is how it look once you have done that the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our bias binding to cover the raw edges of our raffle sleeve so when you are placing your bias binding make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you place it from this other side of the armhole and then you end on this other side once you have used your bias binding to bind the armhole of your top dread the next thing that you have to do you use that opportunity to put the both side seam of your top dress together at that time you are stitching the side seam put them together take it to your sewing machine and stitch it with your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter and i will come down to this other side i will repeat the same process once i am done stitching i will take it to my overlock i overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges and i will also hem the bottom edge fold inside one centimeter fold it again one centimeter and give it a top stitch or you can overlock the bottom arrow edges and then you just fold inside half an inch and top stitch once i am done with that i will show you the final look of my dress making I have used my bias binding to bind the armhole this is how it is once you have done doing that and i've stitched the both sides seam and i've hemmed my dress this is how it look i just overlock the raw edges i fold inside half an inch or 1.3 centimeter in top stitch and for the center back i have started to install my snap you can install snap or buttonhole for your dress depends on how you want the center back of your dress to look this is the final look of my dress making four to five years old dress it's a beautiful dress to make it's a summer dress back to school dress thank you all so much for watching remember to subscribe thumbs up on our video comment down below if you have any question when you like the video and you may comment youtube will push us out to those who really want to see our video you can also share our video to your friends and loved ones those who are interested of in watching how to make handmade dresses for your little girls and have a wonderful wonderful day bye for now